happened, but uh, I think there was an error. Oh, okay. Uh, on the music. Hmm. Uh, but welcome back. Oh, you started? I thought, to... wow. <laughs> yeah, we were... I, I... Uh-huh. We are, yeah, we are sorry. So oh, welcome back. Oh, you did start. You just barreled right through, even though the music. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, see there, the music. Uh, we should do an acoustic version. It's very bright. I'm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I can, I can turn down uh, the brightness. But this is, uh, yeah. this is called the Midwest Hello. Sports Show. And, yeah. It uh, looks like we my... haven't been in the sun for a while. Oh, there we go. All right, well, Gene, hey, can it I has make, been raining a lot in uh, it is. Los Angeles. We, so. Do you think this is the cold? It's definitely the cold. I know. Uh, how are we going to get sympathy? It's only 61 today. But do you think this is the coldest we've had and the most rain? Uh, that's. It has been uh, fairly chilly. Yeah. And, uh, again, should we spend tw- 20 minutes oh, no, I, I've talking prepared, about Los Angeles I prepared weather? a three-part statement, I would like to say. All right, My great. mom's friend... Lover, the man she lives with, Lowell, they're both in their 80s, and uh, he's in the hospital. So if somehow Lowell hears it, he uh, he usually listens. But Lowell, if you if you hear this anyhow, or thinking of you, he fell on the ice. That's how dangerous it is. Oh, really? Yeah, and he broke four ribs. And we, That's not good for old, we, we, older people. Now, we, we're not sure yet. If uh, it was a real, if you really fell on the ice, oh right, or right. Uh, was it a bedroom mishap? Oh, <laughs> that we're not. I don't think my mom. I don't think she can go that hard. I <laughs> oh boy. This. Yeah, but can uh, what's his name? Vince Lowell. Lowell. Lowell but can yeah. Lowell get that hard? Yeah, that's I don't the know. question. Yeah. But ding. And speaking of older people, so last night I was supposed to see Engelbert Humperdinck, who's eighty-four, and I noticed at the theater's website, uh, ticket sales were slow, very slow. In fact, I think I overpaid for my front row ticket. And then they called about two hours before the show, some old lady, and said, oh, Engelbert's not feeling well. I think uh, that's the blue flu. Remember the cops when they protest? Don't you think? <laughs> the blue flu? Well, when you, when you stage a protest. I, I don't think it, I'm, I'm suspicious. I just think ticket sales are slow. So they uh, you mean he didn't want to come out and uh, see, like, well, first of all, you in the front row. Who I've seen. Yeah, I was, yeah. I've never sat. He's, I've he's seen like, did, did Gene Steichen buy a ticket? Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And uh, that didn't help. And then, uh, yeah, then maybe see uh, 10 other people. Yeah. He, well, Ingleberg's so, 84, so I thought, man, I better, I better, this might be it for me and him. And the other thing, okay, my alma mater, Dubuque Campstead High School, one of their kids. How about this for a name? This kid wrestles 132, won the state title, and his name is Joe Pins. Isn't that a great name? Uh, it's, well, yeah, it was either a wrestler or a bowler. Oh, professional Dubuque, bowler. Dubuque, how, how's he throw? Oh, he, how's he, he chuck? He he throws good. Dubuque has got great bowling team. Did your high school have a bowling team? Um, I do not think so. All right, uh, the Dubuque them. schools do. So proud of them. All right. Well, anyway, some winter is almost over, I think. Although they got a bunch of snow last night, and I think more is coming. All right. right. Well, we're thinking of you. There you go. That's the gene. Uh, that that's the gene update. Uh, I'm sure, I'm glad everyone uh, got that before oh, we actually. Oh, next week I'm uh, seeing Bob Seger. How about that? I he's on his farewell tour, which was supposed to be last year. He canceled. He and now this is a, his last. I think this is his last show ever. The one in L.A. All right. Well, let's say okay. farewell to that farewell, se- to that segment. Oh. And uh, let's introduce uh, our names. My name is uh, Chris oh. Stats, and then uh, we have Gene Steichen. See, the thing is, you're. I was so I was thinking of others, and I forgot all about you. Sorry. Hey, no problem. Okay. It's, one of us has to be the center of attention, Gene. Mm, and, okay, I'll take, uh, the, I, I, I'll, I'll take the what, fall. What's this? What's this uh, Humberdink? Pumperdink? What's this? <laughs> Engelbert. Engelbert. Humperdink. Humperdink. He's great. And his son His son goes to my – his son's got his – his name's – his real last name is Dorsey. He changed his name from Dorsey to Humperdink, but his son is in my spin class, and his name's Dorsey. But he's a singer as well. So, anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, with a name like uh, Engelbert Humper- Humperdinck. Humperdinck. I mean, is that a real name? How did he? Is that from like he, a Dickens novel? He, he, he it's or some what? German thing. He came. I, yeah, it was from a book, I believe. Yeah, so yeah, I think it, you're right. Engelbert Humperdinck. Yeah. Gets uh, what's that bread? Uh, uh, pumpernick. Pumpernickel. Yeah, right. And oh. they, they go to the. I don't know. That's that's a, that's an old riddle, isn't it? That's right. And also, spring training is underway, so that's good. Oh, All right. Okay. All right. 
Very, no, kind of. very exciting. Uh, again, this is the uh, the Midwest Sports Show, and uh, we have a lot to talk about. A lot of news. Mm. Um, oh. A lot to discuss, uh, including uh, some football news. Gene, it's pretty amazing that uh, yeah. Super Bowl was, what, three weeks ago? I know. And the biggest story of the week is about the NFL. Yeah. Oh, because Captain. By the way, I'm out on the AAF. I watched a couple <laughs> plays last week, and yeah. this week I couldn't even make it through one. I'm I uh, no thanks. I no offense. Yeah, these guys are trying to make a living, but I don't think so. Well, I have not watched one second. I've I haven't yeah. even watched like a broadcast. Like any well, first of all, it's on the CBS Sports Network. Yeah, right? and also the NFL Network's carrying one game a week. I think. Oh really? That's yeah. that's kind of weird. But aren't they? They they're trying to trying to spin this as a developmental league. Yeah, right. Uh, for the NFL, but uh, yeah, we'll talk. Uh, does Christian Hackenberg need any more development? I don't <laughs> think so. I think he proved he. He peaked his freshman year at Penn State. There. Oh yeah. Oh, and wow, Iowa basketball has won a bunch you, of games. You, you're sure. gonna you're gonna pick a Big Ten quarterback. Yeah. I'd rather have Joe Stavik before. Uh, <laughs> Is he still in the league? Christian McElberg. I don't know. He's probably some backup to. I think he might be in the league. Somewhere. Maybe he's starting for the AAF. What are yeah. you talking about? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. All right. What if What if he became like the uh, MVP? Mm. Joe Stave. Right. Right. For, former uh, uh, Badger. Quarterback, he was like the quarterback for the uh, like seven years or something like that. I don't know how that happened. Right, right. Uh, he was uh, absolutely terrible. Mm-hmm. All right, so but Gene, uh, yes. then, we got, then we got a little base, a little okay. baseball news. A little, I'm excited. Round it out some I'm, baseball. I'm gonna be in Milwaukee uh, April fifth, something like that. For in in Milwaukee, Cubs Brewers. I'll have to wait to get tickets since the Brewers aren't selling them to Cub fans. Yep. Again this you, year they did get, the, they did that last you, year. You can get expensive seconds. Yeah. Yeah, you hear sloppy seconds. This is uh, overpriced right. seconds. Yeah, that's what I had to do last year. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, Gene. Uh, first of all, we're going to start with the big news over the weekend. Uh, this hit on uh, Friday afternoon, um, as uh, you know, damaging. I don't. I don't know about damaging, right, but right. Uh, news that you, you, a lot of people don't want other people talking about. Yeah. To remember that uh, they announced a lot of stuff on Friday after. Be be weary. Of uh, what is a press released on okay. uh, Friday uh, afternoon? Oh, the press, the uh, the when they dump it at the end of the day. Yeah, well, on a Friday. Yeah, because that's, that's first of all, the... a, lot, a lot of people have gone home for work, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, no one's really thinking about stuff, and it, people are just trying to relax, probably at happy hour. Yeah. And uh, if it's bad news, it's kind of better to deliver it when people are at three drinks deep. Right. Right. That's a, a good hour, way to end right? your marriage too. Do it on the Friday afternoon news dump. <laughs> right? Yeah, there you go. Well, Jeff Bezos. Look oh, at him. Oh, I don't. That wasn't good. I, Lauren Sanchez. She she works. Well, she used to work here locally. But you, you a spin her. class with her daughter, Jean? Is that, <laughs> what, is that what you're to tell me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe with her. I'm not. Saying. <laughs> Who knows? Hey, the Oscars are. By the way, Oscars are Sunday, and they're right where I live, about a block away from the Oscars. So it's very exciting. Although it's a traffic nightmare because they shut down. Ah, whatever. Okay. It is what it is. Yeah. All right. So of course, uh, hey. Colin, Colin Kaepernick. I would like uh, to. I would like to say, uh, dedicate whatever contributions I have to my, all my friends I grew up with. I can think of uh, Joe St. Clair and Mark Faust, who I went to high school with, and the other one, Joe. He's from Keokuk. Uh, he. I went, I was a college roommate with them. Those. Those are the kind of people you remember for the rest of your life. They make an impression on you, young. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. All right, and uh, much like Kaepernick and his friends, Kaepernick were, and yeah. uh, his dreadlocks. Is that where you're trying to go? No, I don't know. This? I don't know All what right. you're going to so, say. So, of course, Colin Kaepernick, um, what do you call it? Was uh, not his contract was not renewed with well, not renewed by the 49ers, but the option was not picked up, yeah. and no one uh, selected, no one uh, had him as a quarterback. Even though, again, Christian Hackelberg, what Hackelberg, Hackel Hackelberg, yeah, Hackenberg, yeah. Christian even though he got to play, even though he got a shot. Man, couple, there's couple some weeks. bad quote. Who's that guy of Buffalo that that threw more interceptions and completed Nathan, passes? Nathan Peterman, yes, like that, that guy. Um, he stayed in the league. Yeah, a lot of uh, other guys got uh, chances. Uh, yeah. and no one really even brought in the cabinet except for the Seahawks, but that was kind of a uh, right. Kind of a show, they didn't even show bring trial. Him in. I, they brought him in to talk to him, but they didn't invite. But didn't him he camp. actually practice with the no. team at one point? Because uh-uh. didn't he wear like a jersey or something? I think I, I saw think pictures so. of that. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. 
Um, anyways, so he sued the NFL uh, for collusion along with uh, Mark Garagos. Have you ever been colluded against? Well, I think that's part of collusion is that they don't tell you unless oh, you sue so them. Oh, so it's secret. Just like what baseball's doing, right? Yep. But do you think that's collusion, part. what baseball's doing right no, now? No, I think it's called yeah, – <laughs> it's well, funny. All, all the GMs are, I, are, are colluding over numbers that all paint the same story. I, I it's say, not collusion. That's a uh, fact. Right. Instead of blaming the owner, blame Albert Pujols because he ruined it for everybody and Jason Hayward. Blame him too, right? They, Bryce Harper and Manny Machado, they should get the big cut, not those yeah, other guys. Okay. Bl- blame the Ricketts. How about that? Giving Ooh, them a, Tommy, Blame Theo. I, how about I that? think Tom Ricketts. All right, so just really okay. quick. And you know what, Gene? I uh, I knocked uh, Kaepernick uh, at the time when he first started kneeling, saying, uh, you know, uh, please, violence is bad and all that stuff. But uh, uh, what I mean, how how is kneeling going to uh, gonna help? I know. Anything. And, and at what point, I mean, what? If, if you crack down on police violence by 50%, uh, do, you, do you stand up? Or what, what, what are we measuring here? And, and I don't, um, I, I would never, I, I don't want to And also he's a bad quarterback. No, police, he's not, he's yeah, not good. But I don't, I don't like the, the stand about us singling out the police officer. I know it well, happens, it is. but every profession's got, I mean, well, there's teachers that do terrible I suppose things. you could also say it's about racism general in the uh, right. criminal justice system, right, which uh, yeah. there is, I think, without question. But um, the cops are about, so good. They're, they put, um, okay, well, a lot of cops, for the most part, Mo- cops. Yeah, I mean, look at, yeah. I wouldn't do it. You don't see me out there being a crooked cop? Would you want me to be out there being a crooked cop? If I if I was a cop, I would spend a lot of man hours working uh, for no pay just to oh, I'm help, sure you people, would, help people make their lives better. Well, Jeannie, do that already. Oh yeah, thank you. Don't, you. Th- you know what? Gene oh, Steigen yeah, Gene Steigen doesn't need a badge. Yeah, I spent plenty of time in the jails. Yeah, okay. So you're right. Okay, there yeah. What am I thinking? Of course so Gene, he's protesting you, Gene. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Puts See, the whole I got new- to know that LAPD and the, the, the LA Sheriff's Department. I know them pretty well, a lot of them. So, yeah. Puts, puts a whole okay. new spin on things, huh? Yep. Although All our right. ex-sheriff is going to prison, so um, that's not good. However... Mm. You know, he he definitely again he was this he 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 hurt his shoulder right. and uh, supposedly had shoulder surgery, but he still he wasn't like a great quarterback. Uh, but yeah, he was definitely he struggled that last year. He was definitely better than some of these guys on uh, on the field. And uh, you know, after a while, it became pretty obvious that no one was giving this guy a chance because he was exercising his First uh, Amendment right. And Garagos, who uh, I, I've listened to before on Animal Crow's yeah, podcast, I, 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 he's too. a good guy. He's been around a long time. Do you know he also represented Scott Peterson? Yeah. Who killed his pregnant well, wife? He's he's, death the way he says it, it's like very, it doesn't sound like he actually did it. Mark Peterson? Yeah, yeah, I know. Although he is Mark the Garagos. <laughs> yeah. Mark Garagos. I know. Um, These guys, I'm amazed by the stuff they said. Just like, oh, boy. Okay. Uh, but anyway, they did uh, de- de- uh, depositions and all, uh, you know, got emails from all this, uh, from the league and all that stuff. And I think there was not, uh, I mean, of course, collusion doesn't mean that the commissioner emails every single team and says, right, you know, right. in, a, in, a beat, you know, in a carbon copy, you know, reply all. Right. You know, don't sign Kaepernick because it's bad for the league. But mm-hmm. there's if if owners are talking about themselves, I mean, Jerry Jones was talking to Trump. I mean, there's a lot of things that can show that there was an active, uh, you know, resistance to signing him for wow. reasons other than uh, him being a, uh, a player. Yeah. Um, and I think the NFL, you know, realized we're in deep shit. And, and the, I, we don't want this stuff going public, these right, embar- right, you know, because right. these owners that, are idiots, was, by the way. That's how it goes with a lot of trials. As a, a juror now, an experienced juror who was just <laughs> who, on a trial. By the way, who put someone to, to, to life away. I, yeah, I know. put a guy, me and 11 of my cohorts, put a guy, uh, we sent him to the farm. By the way, a black a man, by the way. He, he was, but the victim was black as well. So. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but... What were you saying? <laughs> is that, what is that? So I know the uh, I know the legal system pretty well. Yeah. But anyways, so the point is uh, the oh, NFL was like, hey, let's just settle. They didn't want to. They, they yeah. were not going to go Let's further. have a gag order so that no one will talk but, about this and none of this stuff will get know revealed. The, the Packers, since they're publicly owned, they're going to have to disclose how much they well, pay. Well, now, so this is the interesting thing because there's speculation on Friday, uh, yeah. including from Mark Fl- Mike Florio uh, from Pro Football Talk, which is I think he was a good follow on yes, Twitter. I, I he was him. saying uh, because everything was kept silent, 
and he did not expect Colin Kaepernick to try to actually play again. That would be somewhere in the 80 to $90 million yeah. Dollar yeah. range, which is uh, probably his lost wages uh, for but. being a uh, NFL quarterback. However, now we're finding out yeah. that uh, Colin Kaepernick does want to play. Yeah. And uh, Garagos was even saying that, uh, you know, the, the, the Patriots uh, might pick him up. So that probably means it's significantly less. So, yes, and Mike uh, Florio set the over-under today at 49 million. 49 and a half. And, yeah, and he took the under. Like now after hearing that, which yeah. kind of makes me, I don't know. I mean, if you're calling well, Kaepernick, why don't you? Kaepernick, he wanted, Did he want to seem like not like a sellout? Like he, he still wanted to say they wanted to play? Well, what about that I'm crappy, like, that new league he he said he'll play for $20 million. That league's not even worth $20 million. Yeah, right. And it's by the not. way, the, he, he suspected that that was a, uh, what do you call it, a leak by the league. To yeah. Make Kaepernick uh, look greedy. That, I think uh, that but league, Colin, we'll see. Colin, we'll see. I mean, do you, you still got your brain. Okay. Uh, I mean, for the most yeah. part, right? I mean, he's had that big afro. That's another good reason to have an afro, oh, by the way. Oh, see, now Extra you padding. should be commenting on people. Too. Extra padding so. on your brain. Okay. How, how many brothers? Did, oh, does boy. LT have CTE? Who? Does LT have uh, How many brothers from the 70s mm. got CTE, Gene? Uh, a lot. The yeah. afro. The oh, afro. Saved oh, him. I see. Smarter yeah. than you think. Okay, I, I'll right. let you so, ask the question and answer all at once because this is not my level of Gene, you know something about the law? You know how the lawyers just ask themselves I questions? I know lawyers very well. I've been, uh, inside, I've been inside the courtroom grilled by a defense and prosecutor to yeah, but, see how qualified him to judge their yeah. potential. And you realize that lawyers are just I mean. people too. They're not, uh, yeah. they're not gods. Mm -hmm. By the way, judges are not gods either. They're not. Uh, let's see you uh, outside the courthouse without that robe. Let's see how, mm. see how. Let's see your judgment then, buddy. All right. So no, the point is, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, yeah. Colin, oh, okay. Colin. Oh, oh, this Colin, is Colin. Take take the ninety million with your brain somewhat intact and yeah. your body somewhat, you know, unfucking uh, fucked with. I guess you could mm. say, and uh, just just retire. Just re the go home. The love of the game. <laughs> or do that, I guess. Maybe I don't know. Maybe the NFL was saying, hey, we're not going to. Yeah, give you seventy million dollars. So and and I, again, I don't think anyone would have judged him. I mean, you mm. beat the NFL. The NFL paid you money. Yeah, I mean, because Eric they knew Reed, they were guilty. Eric, I mean, Eric no one Reed, thinks you, they weren't going to lose. Eric right? Reed made money and he still played this year. Yeah. Mm. So, um, wow. I don't know. So uh, yeah, I mean, do you, do you think he? <laughs> what if he plays and he's like terrible? I, yeah, well, remember that. Do you think last, every defensive coordinator would be like, we're going to make this guy look like a fool? I think his downfall so, was when his game against the Bears where it went into the fourth quarter without a completion. <laughs> and the Bears were terrible right. that year. All right, Hello. So, so, Gene, anyways, uh, you were talking about the Packers uh, yes. having a public uh, finance. Uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm an be, owner, so I get all the reports. You get the Excel spreadsheet at the end of the yep. year. Yeah, so you would know this. Yep. Um, yeah, so they're saying now they may, because uh, all 32 teams would have, I mean, they would have all had to kick in right. to yep. a $90 million contract. I don't think the uh, commissioner's office has like $90 million uh, just laying around that they can uh, right, pay off right. lawsuits. So that makes people think now because they didn't want this. They knew that. I mean, the NFL knew that was would have happened because of the uh, public nature of the Packers. So they probably, uh, that was probably the impetus. Um of uh, having a lower amount anyway. So yeah. now they may not have to report to the Packers. So the, so. the, the Packers are, yeah. I, I like being an owner. I like what we're doing with the team. <laughs> I found out today we hired a new strength guy. No, we? you we promoted a strength. Okay. Uh, right. You know, all those. Uh, I, don't, I don't get involved with all the minor details. But when it comes to hiring a coach and. Going to England or whatever, that that kind. Of, then I'll, yeah. I'll 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 stick my nose in there and get my. You know how it seems like uh, Clay Matthews always has a pulled hamstring, right? Well, we promoted the guy that trains him. Oh, nice, nice. Hey, Clay Matthews, he's got to step it up for the Hall of Fame. I'm starting to get worried. Yeah. He might not be a Hall of Fame. These, these NFL contra uh, I'm sorry, these uh, commercial contracts. They're they're gonna be around forever. Mm. All right. Okay, and then uh, so Gene, speaking of uh, Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick, uh, out of Wisconsin. Well, he's actually from Milwaukee. Is that he was born there, and then that's where his parents, his, his adopted parents, I think. Are, oh were yeah, there, right. They live in, and then I think they moved at one point. Yeah, or something like that. Uh, well, uh, he was going to be uh, one of the uh, several uh, African Americans honored. 
Oh. Uh, for uh, Black History Month uh, in Wisconsin. Which is still going on. We got eight more days. <laughs> Ten nine, more days. Nine more days. Gene, yeah. Gene, what have you got in your black <laughs> friends for uh, Black History Month? It's, it's like... it's like uh, I'm very tied It's like Hanukkah, into, but it's 28 uh, days. No, I'm tied into the black community. You give a community. present to every black very, friend you know. Oh, I'm very... I, listen, diversity, thou is my friend. Yep. All right. So, uh, yeah, he was set to be honored uh, by the state of Wisconsin. Mm. Uh, no, 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 no. Really? Says Assembly Majority Leader Jim uh, oh, Steineke. Oh, the Assembly Leader. So that's kind of like the House of whatever, House of Representatives for right. the state. There's the Assembly and the State right, Senate. Right. Who is both white and Republican. Why do we need to note that? I don't know. I'm just reading from a story. Mm-hmm. Would only you tell didn't her, write that. I did not write this. I just copy and pasted this. Thank God. Would only tell, well, hey, listen, he's probably not a brother. I mean, he, oh, okay. he's, I'm sorry, you know, oh, listen, right. he's the Assembly Majority Leader of Wisconsin, of Wisconsin House of Congress, oh. Republican House of Congress, probably not a brother, mm. was both white and Republican, would only tell reporters on Tuesday that Kaepernick was not, I'm sorry, was kept off of the Republican counter-resolution for quote-unquote obvious reasons. Wow. And one on to say that the former Niners quarterback is obviously a controversial figure. Steineke is a uh, bit of a controversial figure himself, as he was arrested in 2002 for drunk driving. Oh, Steineke. And was convicted of a hit and run in 1991. When he wow. was asked about those incidents in 2011, he told the reporter, I don't care what people think. Um, well, apparently he cares about what uh, people think about Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, these people who and, raise uh, a ruckus, watch out for him. Watch out. And uh, I'll tell you what, Gene, again, I'm not a Colin Kaepernick fan. mm but, uh, you know, if someone comes into the state of Wisconsin and Lambeau Field twice and whoops up on the Packers. Right, right. I mean, we, let, let's, let's throw them up. Let's give them a token, uh, you know, you know, mm. an award. Okay. For Black I'm History for Month. It. Right, let's yeah, do it. Let's course. try it. Out. He's done a lot for the community. He, surprisingly enough, for as much of an icon he is, he doesn't speak hardly at all on Twitter or anything. He doesn't. He, well, yeah. <laughs> he lets his T-shirt speak for himself. Yeah, with, uh, Chair mm-hmm. Guevara. But he's uh, he's against uh, corporate pro- <laughs> oh, state brutality. Okay, mm-hmm. all right, buddy. Right. Okay. I, th- I think uh, he's, he's. I don't think he's worn shirts like that for a while. Right? Mm-hmm. I think he's mature. I don't know. Okay. All right. And uh, and Jane, we we're yes. talking about uh, Jimmy Haslam last week, the owner of the Cleveland Browns and the Flying J Enterprise, the truck stop enterprise, about which how... I've decided to boycott unless I'm driving through the desert, which I'll be doing next month. Then I think that's one of your only options. All right. But well, yeah. Gene, he uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, well, there was a story on ESPN which we were uh, discussing. Mm-hmm. And uh, not not put it painting the Cleveland Browns in. Good colors, uh, I guess, as you could say. Right, right. Good tones. And uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy H. Oh, Jimmy. Not, oh, oh, right. Did not right. appreciate it. Right. And his uh, organization said Flying Jays. Is it the Flying Jays? Yes, Flying Jays. Flying Jays is trucks. Pilot stop. J? Pl- pilot f- Flying J? Like, is that yeah, like the Flying no, Dutchman? It, it, yeah, it's a discount truck stop, basically. Yeah. Uh, is prematurely terminating an advertising deal with ESPN. Right, right. Well, Gene, they were getting char- overcharged anyways. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. Uh, hey, you that's go. a good – because you made a bit of a statement, and it was relevant. Yeah, because he, mm-hmm. he, his company was uh, indicted – or no, what, convicted yeah, for yeah. Uh, overcharging, like, government subsidies right, right. or something They're like that? Run, they, they have mob ties. Yeah, over – By the way, uh, we watching The Sopranos – Fantastic. All right, one, one, all right, listen, this ain't the BS report. Okay, oh, sorry. Go on Bill Simmons' yeah, podcast. Right. Bill did it first. Bill's doing it too. Bill Simmons, re, he's redoing The Sopranos. So I was like, yeah, let me get a little piece of that. <laughs> it is good. Man, uh, James Gandolfini, he's, a, he's, oh my, what a treasure. Oh, I miss him. But, you know, he wasn't the healthiest of people. Dead. Know? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're the best actor on a uh, TV series. Hopefully, of all time. hopefully his son's a good actor because his son is starring in the movie. Is it a his real life. too? It's a prequel, I think. Is it really? I think so. Well, hey, he should be in the Godfather Four, where it's a prequel oh, of uh, all those things. All right. And then, Gene, uh, disturbing news. I know, Gene, you have close ties to Nebraska. I do. My brother lives in Omaha. 
And don't you and, don't uh, you have a house in Nebraska? I as do. Well? Fifty eight ten Oak Street. <laughs> if anybody's <laughs> ever in Omaha, right, just well, go knocking on the door. There's no one there. A lot, a lot of possessions. Uh, my brother, if you don't see the truck in the <laughs> driveway, just help right, yourself. Yeah, I don't think your brother would appreciate you saying fifty eight ten Oak Street. <laughs> That's where it is. Hey, it's it's a great neighborhood. Right, Gene, you and, uh, that, the Gene. house is. Uh, Gene, you're gonna get our video taken down oh, by sorry. Facebook posts. Like okay. Uh, all right, forget no, I, I'm gonna have to edit did that. Did I say out from 58 the show. 10 Oak Street? All I right. meant, what, what time? 27 minutes. I meant okay, 10 I 50. All right. Uh, well, Gene, Nebraska running back Maurice Washington. Oh. Is being charged under California's revenge porn law. Wow. For keeping a 2016 video on his phone of a then 15-year-old classmate being sexually assaulted. Wow. And sending the video to the victim along with a message, remember this hoe. Hmm. Uh, NBA, I'm sorry, NBC BA reports that the video was made when two 17-year-old students at the King's Academy High School in Sunnyville, California, drove mm -hmm. a 15-year-old classmate to a secluded park. Uh, allegedly raped her and uh, took oh. video of it and uh, all, all the students. That's a bad story. Was sent, was sent to all of the students, a lot right. of the students. I didn't even know. Uh, did you know there was such a thing? You better watch yourself. What? Child? To, child. No, the revenge porn. <laughs> no, the uh, child. Gene, I do a sweep of all the bedrooms. Uh, oh, make sure I there's see. no little red lights uh, like going. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, also, Gene, I think you do want it to be videotaped because uh, you can say it was uh, everything was all consensual. She was enjoying I, it. It was all good. I, I can safely say I've never videotaped any sort of any yep. no, never nothing no, uh, i barely take a picture with Jean, a, just, a uh, woman unless i know her very well just to make sure we stay on the up and up have an understanding gene back to the story oh, okay. about the nebraska running go. back yeah mm -hmm. uh gives a whole new meaning to nebraska nice huh <laughs> what's that what's that's the state motto isn't it? i googled uh, the state no, motto is it i think so is it nebraska, nebraska nice? nice why don't you ask your brother at 54 19 uh <laughs> oakdale land i didn't uh, know that was a match i love iowa because uh feel the dreams and they can't use uh welcome to iowa feel the dreams so they go welcome to iowa i think it says iowa fields of opportunities yeah, okay. they couldn't. But I didn't know Nebraska nice. That makes sense. People then, in Nebraska uh, are really nice. I got one more for you, Gene. Well, Gene, you know the uh, Nebraska the college, yeah, State Cornhusker? University University should have been a little suspicious, right? On his signing papers, where he changed the C in Cornhuskers. Uh oh. He crossed it out, changed it to a P. <laughs> there you go. The Cornhusker. <laughs> wow, that oh, would be go. weird. Uh yeah. Have you ever had relations in a cornfield? <laughs> no. I don't think I have either. Nope. That would be somewhat uncomfortable. All right. And then, Gene, we got some brew uh, I'm sorry, some uh, baseball news, yeah. uh, including hey, the Brewers. I When I saw uh, this, I go, good for the Brewers and bad for everybody else. Mike, He's a good player. Mike Moustakis was signed uh, by the Brewers. And, uh, yeah, cannot wait to see him uh, bat 100 in the playoffs again. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I don't know. He, I, you know I, I, I don't know. I don't think. The, hey. Uh, I think it was only for like nine million, which is actually is pretty low. Because yeah, I think yeah. it was going for like, I think he re he, he uh, rejected a fourteen million dollar offer like three years ago. We were well, talking about this a couple he, years ago. I know he. I think he did. He, this is when you need the DH to move up a few years, right, for him. I guess. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I know. That's a good. He. But, he's uh, gonna, I don't know. He'll, I, he can hit a lot. He uh, seems washed runs. up to me. I, I may be incorrect on this. Okay, but so maybe I shouldn't worry. I'm but not, at American American. Uh, Family insurance. Family insurance field. Is that what they're calling? Yeah. Yep. American they got a moose on the loose. So the Brewers. Mm. All right. And then former Brewer C.C. Sabathia is uh, going to retire. Right. At the end he, of this year. How, no offense to C.C. Sabathia. How long? He's got to watch it. I mean, if he's this big in his playing days, what the hell's going to happen he's, when he retires? Well, he goes up and down, right? Doesn't he, like, fluctuate? I, I haven't he, seen he, him skinny for a while. Didn't, didn't he, like, be super skinny, like, three or four years ago? Maybe, in or something? but he's not now. And it, it's, he's he's got to watch himself. He's going to become like Shaq. He's just going to become right, this overbloated right. balloon. And, I don't, uh, hey, do, you, do you like Shaq? I don't like him on that. No, nah, I don't think he's – I don't think he's – he's not yeah. – I love Charles and Kenny, uh, but – Man, Shaq. He's too competitive. I think yeah, I, I think he's kind of a – I think he's a buzzkill, kind yeah, of. Yeah. 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 I think he likes – he thinks he's the uh, smartest guy in the room, but yeah. uh, I don't, I think don't get really it. Yeah. Oh, and, whatever. Uh, well, and Gene, uh, over, under, and how many years he's alive after he retires? I mean, okay. five? Does he, does he make it to see the uh, mm -hmm. Hall of Fame? I, he ain't going to be in the – I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, first off. Uh, 
But no, I don't think so. I think he'll be lucky. Yeah, I don't. I should. You can't. I don't want to wait. Someone dies too early. But yeah, he, please take care of yourself, CC. <laughs> yep. Maybe he'll use this time to get in shape. It's off season. Yep. All right. And then I uh, forgot to put the story on here, but uh, Johnny Cueto. How's he doing? Is former he... Cincinnati Reds pitcher now oh, pitches right. for uh, San Francisco. Right, right, that guy. Uh, well, he, uh, he 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 has horses, Gene. He collects horses. Yeah, a lot of people. He has pet horses. Right, right. And uh, sad news uh, oh. from the Cueto uh, barnyard, I guess, or stable. Yeah, why not? Stable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of his horses is dead. Oh, boy. Died. No, not good. And he posted mm. a picture of it on Instagram. That horse saying, is just yeah, laying there? Just, <laughs> yeah, just a dead horse mm. on the grass. Well, Gene, it's a uh, it's actually the uh, the horse's head in uh, Noah Bumgarner's uh, bed <laughs> with the sheets over it. <laughs> wow! Speaking about the Godfather, right, right. right. There. And another great dead horse scene. My uh, the two, the Godfather, of course, <laughs> but Animal House. Remember that. I've never actually seen Animal House. Gene, You're so okay. Head. Now, that's, that's blasphemy. I know. I'm a comedian, and I've never seen Animal House. And, uh, John Belushi. Oh, my gosh. They shot at University of Oregon. All right. I don't know if that really helps oh, you at all. Right. But there's a scene where they shoot. They don't shoot a horse. They shoot a gun, and then the horse. Oh, it's so good. Animal House is great. Oh, yep. well, who am I? Maybe I'm sound too nostalgic. Okay. All right, Gene, another week and more bad news oh, from the Cubs. You that was the worst. This has been – I've never had a, a – Gene, Addison was terrible, and I don't think Tom Ricketts came up very Gene, well Gene, I think uh, you, your club is slowly descending into the Knicks of uh, Major yeah. League Baseball or the Mets. I was thinking two, two years ago – when they won the World Series, okay, 2016. You're just on the cloud. Yeah, and everybody you, you, loved you're, you're, them. You're counting how many super, super. I'm sorry, World right, Series right, rings right. you're going to get in the next five years. And. Yeah, and now, now they're doing stuff that you don't like them as much. Addison Russell, his press conference, I listened to it. It was. I don't, I don't even know. have that. So what he did a press conference? Yeah, Friday. And people asked him about being the shit yeah. of his wife. And he he was he was we I've made mistakes. I'm, you know, just the same crap that everyone says. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. Uh, all right, shouldn't be laughing, but and uh, then and then Tom Ricketts had to do his press conference today, and I don't think he came off that well. I know. Yeah, I think he was uh, basically saying uh, yes. His, uh, you know, father uh, sent some abhorrent right. emails about uh, Islamophobia and then, type and then stuff. But he said, uh, yeah. but when you see stuff, uh, the stuff that's going around the world, right? Uh, you can kind of understand what he's uh, talking about. Yeah, and he goes, well, it was a long time ago, and I don't know who dug those up, and yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was whatever. It was from 2016 or something yeah. like that. It was fairly And then, and then uh, the worst – oh, no, that's – okay, leave that one I, I got a couple that's things. I got, okay. a, I got a couple right. things. You, you let them have it because uh, I give you permission. We, I got two things here. The Chicago Cubs announced today they'll be launching a new regional sports network right. beginning in 2020 for the yeah. new venture called Marquee Sports Network. Yes. The Ricketts family has partnered with a real gem of a broadcasting company, Sinclair. Yes, the right, Sinclair right. that is ultra conservative and has their uh, news reporters basically read uh, prepared statements, uh, political statements uh, on the air. You, there's actually videos yeah. where they have uh, uh, just basically cuts of uh, different uh, employees of the broadcasting company just saying these uh, kind of these crazy things. Um, so Sinclair. So uh, what do you call it? Um, so not much known. I'm sorry. Not much is known about how much uh, Marquee with co- will cost, but this initiative to better, quote unquote, better serve Cubs fans will eventually take games off the over the near yeah. air networks and put them on a channel that will this either be cost the, a monthly payment or be paid through a cable bill. This is the last year with because uh, they split them up now. Right, Gene. Remember the uh, the old days. Oh, WGN t- turning on the uh, the Superstation and yeah. watching a uh, Cubs Every game. Cubs game was at WGN. one one p.m. Yep, and yep. they're all day games too. Oh my they gosh, play night all games. day games. You run home from school. School would get out at ten to three. I'd run a mile home, and you'd and the games were quick, but you'd get the last two innings. My yep. grandpa, who stayed with us a lot, he was blind, but he would sit in front of the TV. He'd come in, he'd go, Grandpa, how are the Cubs? Oh, not good. <laughs> it's been a bad century. <laughs> but sometimes they won. Yeah. Grandpa, not, grandpa didn't see them win, right? He's, no, he, never he was did. blind by them. No, uh, no, <laughs> no. All right, well, oh, I was, I I was metaphorically speaking. Jane, oh, right? I see. No, no, he wasn't alive in 1908. I don't believe. Or in 2016. Oh, no, he died. Yeah, long um, 
Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, WGN. Uh, you know, Gene, I'm a little bit younger than you. Uh, yes. I remember Ryan Sandberg, Mark oh. Grace, Joe Girardi. Oh. Uh, Andre memory. Dawson. Yes. And uh, Harry Carey. Old Harry Carey. by speckled Harry Carey calling yeah. the game, drinking a cold Budweiser he every drank single a game. Lot. Yeah. Go off on these rank. Him and Steve Stone were so good together. Can you imagine Harry Carey uttering the words marquee sports now? What does I that even know. mean? I I just hope they don't screw over Chicago like LA, the Dodgers have yeah, to what if, LA. What if ninety percent of the uh, population can't Isn't see it, it? People don't understand. LA spe- you have to have spectrum cable to watch the Dodgers. You can't get it on direct T V or anything. Yeah. Yeah, even mm-hmm. though people want to pay for it. But Spectrum I do have Spectrum. But it's a rip. I guess cable companies. What the hell? Well, most of the people have direct TV because I believe. Uh, well, most people can't have cable in their rent. Yeah, so if that's it's, right. They're building. But, or whatever. but 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 also uh, there's a lot of um, what do you call it? Uh, Hispanics that yeah. use the TV for like international stuff. So right. Yeah. I, no, I don't want to single Hispanics. There's a lot of uh, just immigrants in general. Right. And we're you, melting pot. You, you can't get all these crazy channels. Uh, you know, through uh, the spectrum. Yeah. Uh, cable thing. Yeah. So that's why people have direct TV and stuff. It's like 75%. So hopefully everybody in Chicago will be able to get it. That's what I'm saying. Um, so we'll see. But about anyway, that. Uh, the Cubs are off to a slow start in the likability department. I think Tom Ricketts. Well, oh, then and, and we're, we're not done yet. Oh, boy. Okay. Because uh, speaking about uh, collusion. See, at least I'm not going easy on. Uh, uh, I I tell it like it is. With, yeah, you're not. Yeah. You're not a homer. Like I'm uh, not. I'm not happy with Addison's Russells. I thought. I thought he just didn't seem very sincere. Uh, I don't know, and it, neither did Tom Ricketts actually. Well, Gene, uh, also okay. at this press conference, uh, Tom Ricketts, wasn't it? Joe Ricketts, whatever. That's the dad. Tom That's Ricketts. the Joe Ricketts Tom is Ricketts. the patriarch. Was, He's the one that created the was, the, was asked why the uh, Chicago Cubs are not oh going after uh, Manny Machado or oh. uh, Bryce Harper. Not good. And uh, well, you, you got you got to expect. Right, I mean, right, G- G- right. Chris Bryant, he's he's gonna get a huge contract, right? Yeah, why why go right. after Machado when you got Chris Bryant, right? Yeah, yeah okay. right, Gene. That, yeah, that sounds like a good answer, right? Well, well, okay. Or uh, what? What else? I mean, what's another reason? What, what do you think? Why, why do you? Uh, how about Manny Machado? Bad attitude, right? Well, uh, yeah, Do-do- doesn't run the bases. Bad attitude, right? Right. Bry- Bryce Harper. I think you're setting me, setting me, uh, the Cubs up here for me. Me first guy. Right. Cares more about his hair. Oh, I love Bryce Harper. Than his uh, slugging percentage. Oh, I want him to be a Cub. Right? Yeah, okay. That So the, uh, that has to be the reason why. Okay. The, the Cubs don't I need see. those guys. Okay. You're, Cubs don't need those guys. Saying, no, no, of course not. Well, they, Dean. They almost won a wild card game. It's right actually there. a little bit more simpler than that. Very simple. Ask why they're not pursuing uh, these big free agents. Uh, Tom Ricketts summed it up pretty easy, quote unquote. Uh no, no I'm sorry why yeah, wh- why the did. Cubs did not spend more money on the offseason for free agent uh, on the free agent market pretty easy he said we don't have any more oh, any more money wow that's disturbing you're the owner of the Chicago right. Cubs and you uh, have no they, more money they built they 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 bought half of Wrigleyville they built their own hotel right across the street they built their own bar I mean they got ton if you go to Wrigley Field where I'll be April eighth for the Cubs home opener. And uh, it, they they own half Wrigleyville. They they uh, and they don't have enough uh, all this money building a hotel. How about oh, not, that's hey, not Tom. what you want to hear. Hey Tom. Oh, some, you give them something. Hey Tom, here's some go. advice. You let them know. Here's some advice. Uh, increase beer prices. Right. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Although people at Wrigley drink a lot. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, they're not even spending money on urinal uh, separators. So. Oh, uh, I love. You know, the Cubs still have troughs in the in the bathroom. Do they? Do they? Do they, do they on the they, expansions they, they, for Wrigley Field? Do they have a brand new marble trough? They. They. they, they uh, <laughs> the owner's no, trough. It's not where you're facing each other, but it, no, no, they still they put in some urinals, but they still have. I always go for the trough. That's that's tradition. Well, yeah. Gene, how does it feel watching the lovable loser Cubs turn into the uh, just another corporate greedy yeah, franchise? That, I didn't like it. That has I didn't uh, like ultra it. conservative, no. hateful owners. I know. I it disturbed me. I I wish I wish they would have been. He I wish uh, he would have been more sympathetic. And the Cubs, the fans want him to. It's that we don't. We, we didn't tell you to build a hotel. <laughs> 
I don't know. Okay, who am does I? It, does any know. of this make the, the World Series uh, just kind of not worth it? No, anymore? no, don't. don't uh, go so crazy. You're, you're all okay with as long as they had that one World Series. Two no, years ago, I want them to win again. <laughs> Do you want? Yeah, the Packers won in 2010. Has it been like, well, yeah? yeah hey, hey, thank not, goodness they won that one. They're though. not. They're not signing up with Sinclair to uh, know, take away all the yeah, Packer games from uh, Green Bay. Oh boy. I want the Cubs to win again. So maybe they, last year I thought they were going to win. So this year I don't. Ex, this year I don't have those expectations. So maybe they'll do. Maybe they'll surprise us. Gene, surprise this team me. is rotten from the very core. Oh boy! They're not even going to make. They're not going to make that one playoff game. I, I think. Oh uh, my God. I think this is the year the wheels come off. Yeah. Thiel, see, Thiel's lot, gone. He's, yeah. He's done no, at the Thiel's end of the year. Get, oh my gosh! And uh, don't tell me the wheels are going to come off already. It you, took us 108 <laughs> years to get the wheels on. Don't take them off. Thiel is going to set this franchise back 10 oh, years. Don't Thiel. And I, I bet you the Ricketts sells the team. No. Cause, cause, He's put too much. I, that's one thing. I think the Ricketts aren't selling, but. The Cubs, the Cubs, if they're not good, are the Cubs worth money? Are people going to yeah. go to the games? I, well, I don't know, maybe. People think they people just automatically go to the games. No, their attendance, they, they do for the most part. But still, they want Cubs fans want them to win. Yeah, I bet there's like a 50% drop off. Yes. Th- I if bet. they're over or under 500 yep. on attendance, oh. something like that. Some huge but, ass number. See, like I that. think they're going to. I. I, I, I uh, I, uh, <laughs> you watch out. Well, I, I expect big things. Hopefully you uh, don't need any more baseballs. Hopefully hey, those are see. ordered for the year. What I know. That's disturbing. Oh, it's simple. So, so we don't is, have money. So what if Chris Bryant breaks a whole bunch of bats and you, you're out of bats by the yeah. uh, by the end of September? You don't want your you, owner saying that, even even if it's true. Maybe he could say, yeah. well, we're, we're trying to be fiscally re- – I don't know what well, he's Hey, Tom, saying. Tom, you, you know who's got money? How about, how about the bank? Uh, you can't get a loan yeah, anymore? Cubs, Your credit's that bad? Are you that stretched out? You're that I, thin? I think the Cubs are the second or third – maybe behind – definitely behind the Yankees, maybe Dodgers. Third most valuable franchise in – or t- one of the top ten in all the sports. That's the San on. Francisco has to be up there, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Mets are probably up there too, but mm. – all right. Uh, okay. Well, that's it, Gene. Okay. Um, the destruction. Well, everyone get the winner. Winners. I I told my mom. I was talking to my mom. I go, well, just think, winter's almost over, and she goes, yeah, we're getting six inches of snow tonight. So there's sun. Sunny days ahead, people. <laughs> very very far. Uh, very far. Hey, didn't that go for it? Was or the groundhog? He saw his shadow, right? Well, so. that. Yeah, but no, that means there's six no. more weeks of winter. When then you he don't didn't see, see a shadow. It's supposed to wrap up. Oh, here. it was one of those things? Yeah. Uh, it's almost like it doesn't even Fe- matter. I'll tell you one thing. Right. February is the toughest month of winter, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's all. All right, there I you go, it. folks. Gene is, Gene's a weather uh, <laughs> uh, rather. Oh, and, and the Oscars is a big thing on Sunday, and I'm going to a musical that night. Okay. All right, yep. sounds good. All right, so uh, thanks for watching and thanks Thank for uh, listening. Remember, you can uh, watch Thank the show you. live on Facebook Thank or you, anytime Chris. from Face uh, Gene's profile or uh, mm-hmm. check it out on YouTube and you can mm-hmm. watch the show. And then, of course, we always have the old uh, iTunes, the audio. iTunes is great. Audio uh, version. And so. this is your uh, composition that you're going to uh, Well, no, this, this is not my music. This is just general music from It's uh, great, from, though, from whatever you came up with. Well, All right. w- w- let's enjoy so, it together. Oh, you know what? That's the uh, that's the end music. That's not the beginning yeah. music. So, all right. So, for Gene Steichen, goodbye. Uh, my name safe. is uh, Chris Stotts. and is this gonna start playing? Hug a neighbor. Hug all a right, stranger. So. Is mm. it playing? All right. So again. Oh, uh, there it is. <laughs> for Gene Steichen, my name is uh, Chris Stotts, and it's uh, been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.